Hello everyone, I am Dr. Nithya Babukumar, Consultant Obstetrics and Gynecology. On the event of International Women's Day, I am here to say a few words about cancers. Cancers in women, the most common, the gynecological cancer and breast cancer. Knowing the signs and symptoms of each cancer is essential for women because each one has its own risk factors and prevention strategies. First being the breast cancer. So breast cancer, lot of risk factors are there, modifiable and non-modifiable. So knowing the modifiable risk factors help us to prevent breast cancer to some extent. The non-modifiable risk factors say being age. As age advances, breast cancer is more common. Family history of breast cancer, which is not preventable. And certain genes which runs in your family, say BRCA1, 2, the gene mutations causing this breast cancer is not preventable. But certain risk factors like your lifestyle, obesity, which is preventable, can prevent breast cancers. Uh, lifestyle changes is very important to prevent breast cancer. Every woman should know the importance of breast self-examination. Fix a day, post your periods, your cycles, stand in front of your mirror, examine whether both the breast is same, the texture, the skin color, even your under armpit. Palpate both the breasts, see for any mass or lumps. If you see any mass or lump, kindly meet your gynec or a breast surgeon. Every mass need not be cancer, it can be any benign lesion also. Having investigation like ultrasound breast and mammogram to some extent will say whether it is a benign or cancer breast. The next common gynecological cancer is the cervix, uterine, vulva and vaginal cancer, ovarian cancer. Very rare being the fallopian tube cancers. I will say 10 common symptoms which a woman should know regarding these cancers and when she should meet her gynecologist. Say abnormal menstrual bleeding which is so worrisome she must definitely meet her gynecologist. It can be any of the cancers say uterine cancer too. Intermenstrual bleeding, bleeding between periods, postcoital bleeding that is if she bleeds after having a relationship is alarming. Postmenopausal bleeding, once her period stops for more than a year, if a woman has spotting or bleeding, she should definitely meet her gynecologist. So, abnormal bleeding in a reproductive age or even postmenopausal is alarming. She should meet a gynecologist, have an ultrasonography done and a pap smear too. Second most common symptom is unexplained weight loss. If a woman feels like she has lost her weight, say within a couple of span of couple of months, she should meet a physician or a gynec, whoever she is comfort with. Third thing, any symptoms out of the way, that is fatigue or she feels very weak, she should meet her physician and get her health check done. Fourth being abnormal vaginal discharge. If she feels a foul smelling, constant white discharge, it is said to be alarming. She should meet a gynecologist not only to rule out sexually transmitted disease but also cervical cancer. Fifth being any bowel disturbances. If she feels bloating, belching, indigestion problems, it can be a signs and symptoms of ovarian cancer too. Sixth being any bowel disturbances. If she is having indigestion problems, bloating, constant abdominal cramps, etc. She should definitely meet either a gastro or gynec and rule out what is the reason behind. And simple ultrasonography can rule out ovarian cancer too. Seventh being any bladder symptoms, any disturbances in a bladder is also should be notified. Say any pressure symptoms in a bladder or a frequent urination, she should also notify it to her gynec or urogynecology. Eight being constant pelvic pain. If she faces continuous pelvic pressure, pelvic pain associated with either heavy bleeding or white discharge, she should definitely meet her gynec. Ninth is changes in a private area, either 
changes in the color of your vulval skin or any itchiness, soreness over your vulval, that is your private part, you should definitely meet your gynec. And 10, any breast changes, breast abnormal swelling of your breast, any discharge from your nipple, either be a milky discharge or brownish blood stain discharge, definitely you have to meet your gynecologist. So what do I do to reduce these cancers? Is, are there any prevention strategies for these cancers apart from their risk factors like lifestyle changes etc. Yes, there are vaccinations available for to prevent certain cancers like cervical cancer. The HPV vaccines, human papilloma virus vaccines we can give to prevent cervical cancers. The ideal age group is from 9 to 13 years, maximum up to 28 years. So apart from this vaccination, certain screening procedures are there to prevent cervical cancer, say like pap smear. So visit your gynec, know more about your cervical cancer screening, say the pap smear and HPV DNA testing. Even post hysterectomy females have to go for their pap smear testing. Regarding your ovarian and uterine cancers, have a good lifestyle includes a diet and exercise, go for annual screening that is a health check, ultrasonography and knowing the risk factors. To conclude, to all women over there, kindly listen to what your body says because early identification and starting the treatment for these cancers early will be more effective.